Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Valhalla. Thank you for tuning in. I am asking this bartender here, Jill, that I want something pure. And the reasoning she has come up on is... All right, so here I have studied in between episodes. I've been looking through every single description. The Zen Star is the only one I can think of because I was thinking it's either a balance of ingredients, so like same amount of ingredients, um, not, not necessarily across the board, but if it had like two Adelhyde, two uh, Powder Delta, two Carmatrine or something like that. And this is the only one that has a balance all across the board. Um, I was also looking at either the name or description, something like Heavenly or something like that, but nothing super matched it other than like maybe Sunshine Cloud, but I'm not super sure. Like if it had more of like a um, Angels or something like that, that's when I would have gone for that one. But that's my reasoning. I really don't know if this is gonna be correct. But I'm gonna have to go for it. Let's let's give this a shot. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, all on the rocks and mixed. Alright. Let's give this a try. How is this pure? It's a drink. It's free from any human sin. It can do no harm consciously. Really? Are you serious? Are you freaking serious? That's what it was? Is that Jill? Are you are you just making this up, or like you really understand this guy? You you've really made a connection, and you understand his line of thinking. Really? Come on, that's utter b. I, I could have just served him literally anything. Are you serious? <laughs> are you serious? Oh yes, beautiful. Okay, no, I get I get it. Maybe she's just trying to come up with BS reasoning to match his BS reasoning. She's like, well, if he's just gonna spout random nonsense, I will too. So I'm just gonna serve you literally anything and I'm gonna serve you the most disgusting drink on the menu and you're gonna enjoy it because I put the beauty of meaning behind. You know what? You know what this is? Me and Paper talk about this all the time as, um, as well as my like group of friends from college because we all, most of us did art. And um, something we always like laugh or complain about is just that like, a lot of the teachers or just like, I guess the general um, stereotype maybe of like uh, classic art or like, uh, what am I trying to say? Traditional art, you know, higher art. It's like, it doesn't super matter what the subject matter is. It could be something very simple, but as long as you have the super deep meaning behind it, you just BS it, they'll be so into it. Get you A pluses. We had to BS our way through a lot of projects. At least I personally did. I can't speak for my peers and friends, but sometimes I would just not care and just be like, yes, well, you see the curvature of this particular section of it. It speaks volumes about that. And you know, everybody knows about that stereotype. And you know what? It's a, it, it may be a stereotype, but it's because it's true to some extent. I've met a lot of have a lot of situations where it's like that Virgilio make you know he is in a steampunk museum he's in that sort of setting and he acts like one of the very snooty people so he's perfect that's why he's the embodiment of that stereotype we found him congratulations to us <sighs> hmm hey you the uh, the guy over there M me? Oh God! Please don't drag me into this. Please, I, 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 I see you suffering, Jill. I, I, I want nothing to do with it. Yes, you. Have we met before? Wow! How many people are gonna ask Gil? How many people have seen him in Hong Kong? All y'all came from Hong Kong at the same time. I can't remember. Maybe. Yeah, I think. <clears throat> no, no, no. We haven't met ever at all. Ooh, what? That's a very strong reaction. Maybe y'all met in Hong Kong, but like. He did something to you and now you don't even want to acknowledge that? That's an interesting reaction. You should spill the beans. Ah, uh, Jill, I'll be taking my leave now. Be careful out there. Thanks. Huh? Excuse me, have we met somewhere before? Ooh, now everybody's just all meeting each other. That face, that eye. What about my eye, punk? We haven't met ever at all. Never, ever, ever, ever. Good talking to you, bartender. I'm out of here. I'm Audi 5000. Um, did you just scare off a client? Apparently. Well, I'm off. Thanks for everything. That was nothing. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> Don't mention it. So, bye. <laughs> Are we done for the day? Yep, quite a few clients considering the whole situation. 
Oh, crap! That Virgilio guy! So you two actually met before. Yeah, you could say that. What? What? Gil stuff, don't mind it. What were you talking about to Brian? Well, we're mostly catching up, to be honest. I hadn't seen him in a while. I offered him a drink when we last... Uh... I, uh, bleh, I offered him a drink when we met last week. I talked a bit about what to do after the bar closes. Oh, and I tried to, uh, explain the situation with Robert here. He agreed to help me out with that one when the time comes. Ah. Oh. I was also tuning up the details for the new employee. We have a new employee? We're gonna get a new employee? New employee? A part-timer. You'll meet him tomorrow. We're getting more people to work with in the bar? How exciting! Is he gonna be an asshole? Oh god, I bet he's gonna be an asshole. He's gonna be terrible, isn't he? This bar so far with the three of us, awesome all around, loving it. We're gonna get somebody terrible to throw a wrench in, in our happy family, ain't we? Oh. Him? So, it's a guy? An adorable guy, if I do say so myself. <gasps> Are you cheating on me even though we're not even in a relationship? Are you cheating on me, Dana? I suddenly have deja vu. Oh, because when he suddenly showed up, is that what happened? <laughs> Are you alright, Jill? I yeah it must be nothing. Okay! Ooh, Brian told me to give you a little bonus. Nice! Nice! Okay. Okay, I'm gonna be very careful with my spending. I should not have spent all that money before, and I really regret it, so I'm gonna leave it. Um, the 24th is in four days. I don't know if I can make 4,000 more dollars, and I have to make probably more than that because I have to buy a shoulder massager. Oh boy, I'm gonna try and be very careful and hope that as long as I do amazingly, I will get enough money. I don't know if I can earn 4,000. I don't know how much I had before, actually. Oh my god, you guys, I'm gonna die, aren't I? I'm gonna die and become a hermit and not have electricity, and I'm gonna live in utter poverty, and it's gonna be terrible. <laughs> okay, first of all, I never want her to be distracted. I don't want to know what happens when she becomes distracted, so I'm gonna go ahead and be play it safe and buy her a shoulder massager. Okay, that just set us back about... 1,000 or so, I, I don't remember how much we had, but that's okay. We're gonna be fine. Jill bought what she wanted, she's pleased with herself, okay. All right, we're not gonna spend money on any more wallpapers or anything. We're gonna leave it like this. It's gonna look terribly clashing. Also, I just realized the shirt says slut, good times. We're just gonna leave it the heck alone. All right. For I need me some time. Use the bathroom. <laughs> no, I didn't mean that kind of time. Jeez, is pooping all you think about? I guess so, because you a cat. Okay, let's check up on what's, what's happening. Ooh. Oh, they're talking about it. I think I'll get a pair just to see what kind of skin I can use with them. They will they will nickel and dime. Wait. They will nickel and dime with the DLC. There's no way to use the skin you want. Oh, man. Talking about that DLC, that gotcha randomizer DLC. It's going to get cracked day one. Maybe, but I don't think it will be that fast. Sure. I think I'll just wait until it's modded for custom skins. I thought the nano machine fabric was bad for your health. No, that's just a meme. Ha ha ha! My walls are made of that thing, and I'm all right. Are the walls hacked yet? I'm gonna marry Kamaltan, of course. A matter of time. Where's all the porn? Where's all the Rule 34? Huh? We now have the underwear that can change its look. We now have underwear that can change its look. Don't you just love the future? I wonder if there weren't. Uh, I wonder if they weren't such a bunch. Of, what? Huh? I would. Oh, sorry. I would if they weren't such a bunch of assholes with their business practices. Then don't buy the underwear. I won't. Okay. Ooh. A tad, uh, a tad useless unless you're a streaker or have a boyfriend. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Apollo Bank is being attacked. Thread four. Can confirm the situation has finally reached its end. The attacker was shot dead, but a huge amount of data was released from servers all around the world. Remember the leaks from Alice? Those were not- Oh wait, we already read this. Sorry, sorry, new session. Those were already read- This- We already read this. Yep, 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 read it. Okay, got it, got it. Um, anything new? Okay, got it, got it. That's the only new thing. Oh, okay, that's a bit confusing. I wish they would put like- Did they put an exclamation mark next to this? If they did, that would be nice though, to show that we've read it already, just like this. Okay, here we go, augmented eye. So, so, uh, what was it? Did Kim just get fired permanently? Is she, is she okay? Do we, I hope we get to see her again. I hope everything's okay. What? Men prefer Christmas cakes, study reveals. Is that a euphemism? That's a euphemism, ain't it? 
For the longest time, the term Christmas cake referred to women aged 26 or above who were regarded an un as undesirable, just like a Christmas cake that ceases being useful after December 25th. Okay, that's clever, but also rude. So trude. That was um. So uh, back in back in college, I was part of a um acapella group, and the leader she was awesome. But she was talking about she came up with true and rude. Literally, what it, what it sounds like. If something is true but rude, trude, trude. That's 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 in the word I will definitely attribute to this term. That's really funny. My God. But men around Glitch City developed a sweet tooth. Who doesn't like a mature woman? Todd. Have you met Todd? I don't think so. 19 told the augmented eye. They have all the necessary experience already. And plus, I'm so tired of spoiled, immature girls doing stupid crap. I say bring on the hot office ladies. Oh, okay, well, look, you 19 though, you been young. Okay, girl. I don't think they, I think... Those women are tired of young, spoiled, immature guys, okay? I don't, they don't even watch your butt, okay? What? Wait, what? Like us? Huh? Jill27 is confused. We are 27 and we are named Jill. What? Christmas what? Is that like the opposite of beefcake? After discovering the real meaning, she launched into an hour-long rant. I'll let you know pencil skirts are the best! What? Oh, okay, she was insulted that Christmas cakes, because it's negative connotation, immediately means undesirable. So she got insulted. But this article is saying they're into girls like her. The, when did they do this interview? Did they approved it without my approval? Excuse me. That's one hell of a rant. <laughs> That's funny. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, here we go. Okay. New waifu machine. Oh man, technology is just constantly advancing. New ways to have, you know, excuse me, relations with 2D, you know, 2D people don't even need real people. Here we go. AM Townships 64, some kind of Nintendo 64. I don't know. I'm gonna say Ske. I'm not gonna say Suke. I'm gonna say Ske. I don't know if that's right or wrong, but let's just go with it. Skeban Soft just unveiled a new line of personal computers for the anime enthusiast market. This is after several attempts at appealing to a broader audience with the Uranus game console. Launch games have been announced as well. They include popular franchises like Monster Girl RPG, Monster Girlfriend, and Monster Companion. We all know we banking on that monster niche part of the corner of the market, okay? We know y'all want monsters, y'all freaky people, okay? Girl? No, it's okay, I understand. Monster stuff, awesome, you know? The shape of water, everybody go crazy for that, done. Let's see. Oh, these are the actual developers. I recognize their their usernames from various like articles I was reading about uh, the game. So uh, I'm just gonna give you a normal voice. So whoever you are, cutie 51, 57, 51, I think that's one. We're going for the weeb audience, said cutie 51, a skib on soft janitor. What's dignity anymore? Skip on Soft plans to launch the AM Township sometime next year. Didn't you play a game from those guys? Monster Girl Puzzle. Yeah. Cool. All right. Is it anything like the um that anime with the the it's like really boobs everywhere? What's it called? Monster Musume? Was it that one? I don't know. There's a bunch of monster girls and it, people were going crazy for it for a while. It was interesting. The EKDV186 gets historic update. Weapon enthusiasts are freaking out right now over a firmware update that Makise Heavy Industries is releasing for its EKDV. Wow, my voice is cracking. 186 line of assault rifles. Full compatibility with nano camo has been announced, allowing civilian models of this weapon to use the use of nano camo camouflage and the option to customize their look for free with the help of the nano camo app. So I'm a bit worried about that, kind of. Okay, let's talk about this. So. I think that'd be cool for like being able to do that for any tool or anything like that. Like if it was announced for like my laptop, that'd be awesome. I could just deck it out with whatever I want or just, you know, various things that I have. So I could see it being really fun that you could like put all kinds of designs all over your like weapons and that'd be cute. Um, I don't think it could necessarily be like misused in the way that I'm thinking where like you can just disguise it as like another weapon. Why am I thinking that? Why? Why did I immediately think to disguising it as another weapon instead of like another object? I don't know. For some reason, that was my line of thought. So like, the only thing that he could do is like turn like a tiny pistol into something like really huge and mask it that way just to seem more intimidating. But that's about it. So, anyways, I don't know where that line of thinking was going. Let's see what what's the actual capabilities and limit limitations are. Uh, let's see. Okay, here we go. 
We've been using nano camo in the battlefield for a year now, Makisei's chairperson told the augmented eye during a phone conversation, and thanks to its flexibility, we can now sneak past the enemies using the environment to our favor. Our equipment is basically invisible with nano camo. The nano camo update will be released this month. So before, if they were blending in the environment, but they couldn't do that for their weapons, were their weapons just floating about? Did they just have floating guns and but like they're oh but the person's hidden and so if guards see them just like ah what's over there I was just some floating weapons you know there's no people though so we all clear we all good is that what that is <laughs> okay great um life backup let's just go ahead and save real quick okay yeah no 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 not touching it Kamaltan you are a, you are a siren you are tr sorry about that message you are just luring me into the allure of the nano camo but no no more I will be saving my money you will not trick me ah new stuff okay hi Miki it's been a while I wonder if you're gonna come back in I think I mentioned it in a previous episode where you're supposed to get her you can get her the tea um I think I missed it by not being able to offer it to her before she came in. I think I'm not gonna unlock some sort of thing in the end. I call BS on that. I know they want, like, I guess replayability, but that's stupid. How are you supposed to know you have to buy tea before the person comes in? God damn it. <laughs> okay. Dream person by Miki. Every now and then, I wonder if I'll ever meet my significant other. All the stimuli from, stimuli, 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 from being born just three years ago and directly being thrown in this wonderful disaster that is the idol industry. <laughs> wonderful disaster. That's a great way to describe it. I, I, but you're being pretty open about that. Ain't you got some editors or people that got to like, you know, watch what you say or something? And that's interesting. She has just been born three years ago. She's not a fully full grown woman, really, mentally, I guess. Um, let's see. Makes me think of all the things I'm missing. Accidental love, lost love, or even the gentle touch of another person. I feel like I'm in this bubble that won't let me catch all my all possible feelings and my senses get tired of the same environment. Oh man, girl, I'm sorry to hear that. It sounds like you're going through some, some, some deep stuff right now. I want to meet new people, places, because even though I have a large bank of knowledge, I actually never experimented with what most consider normal. But you already know that from my song, Smiley Face. Aw, I suddenly have an urge to hug her. I'm sorry, I haven't been reading all these. Aw, that's sweet. We still have a little bit of time in the episode, uh, so I'm gonna jump into the next day. But before I do that, um, just the other day I was hanging out with like Doey and Paper, uh, Berkeley, and a couple other friends. We were just hanging out, having a, uh, we were playing a, like a custom RPG that Doey was making actually really cool. Anyways, we had somehow ended up having a brief discussion about something I found online because someone I was following on Twitter, let's just follow this string real quick, um, was talking about how they didn't like the concept of like something like Chobits, for example, where this AI acts very childlike. Like um, if you if you haven't seen Chobits, it's just there, there's a girl uh, discarded AI in the trash and um, your typical, you know, anime protagonist, male protagonist finds her and he's very average and you know, struggling at work and life, whatever, love life. And um, she she gets activated by him and she just acts like an utter child. She just goes like, chi, chi. And then she's just like, oh, and you know, it's like, like, oh, cute thing. We're like discovering innocence. And we were trying to name the other movie that did something similar. The really popular one with the, I already forgot the name, with the orange haired girl. And it's like a futuristic thing. And it's with the guy, whatever. Anyways, so someone was replying to that Twitter th thread about how she didn't like that sort of thing where it's like, yeah, it's like weird to be like, predatory on like a childlike person like yeah she is a full-grown woman's body but like her mind is literally that of a child and someone linked an interesting video where uh i'm so sorry i don't remember uh who the person is but if you just look up this name i think you will find him uh he did a video called born sexy yesterday that's what the the uh term that he coined for that sort of thing and it's just like oh well and the guy he's usually a pretty average person but because he already knows more about being a person about life about just normal everyday stuff because of that he already has this like um not like a dominance or like a, an imbalance in like their relationship I guess I don't know how to I, you go watch the video it was very interesting and pertinent I liked it a lot but um yeah so I agree I don't like that kind of thing and that's kind of what that reminds me of here where Kira Miki, she was, she's just this full grown woman and people love her and she's like wondering about love and stuff, but she's very naive about these things because she's an AI. So 
obviously there isn't that situation here where there's like a male or some just some other person that's like trying to get in on her and trying to like take advantage of her naivety or yeah you know there isn't that situation here but that's what that reminded me of and i wanted to share it with you because i thought it was very um what am i trying to say just a very interesting topic of conversation anyways with all that rambling i ended up bringing us to the end of the episode anyway sorry for rambling i hope i hope you guys enjoy that though i do like just kind of spilling random things that i i think of and just sharing some cool stuff but join me for the next episode um i honestly don't know how things are gonna go from here i don't know man because we still gotta wrap up the you know hackers and we don't know where say is those are kind of the two most primary things on my mind but there's all these other things we gotta worry about join me then zaxis over and out <laughs>